What is up, guys? My name is Meeps. Today, I'm going to show you guys the very best way to watch your old replays and share them with your friends and also making it really easy for you to know which file you're opening. Mm, which one of these files that I get a pen to kill in? Yeah, you can see how it can be pretty difficult, right? The new approach it's going to be very easy. All right, so let me show you. I found this program that a guy called Fraxinus made, I think. Uh, so big shout out to him, first of all. He made a program called Replay, Replay Book, and this is extremely useful, especially for me as a content creator as well. But what you're going to do is you're going to download this one. The way you do it is just click over here on the releases tab. Uh, right now it's release 1.52. It might be something else for you. And then download the zip file simply by clicking it. Once you open it up, just find it in the folder. This is in my downloads folder now. We're going to extract this one. And in here, you will find a file called replay book. This whole folder, the replay book, you can place this anywhere on your computer, wherever you would like it to be. You can put it there. Personally, I really like to put it inside my League of Legends game, just so I know that's where it is. So for me, I'm going to go to my C drive, put it in Riot Games, League of Legends, and in here, I'm just going to place it. So wherever you've placed it, open it up, go to the publish and go to the replay book.exe. As you open this one up, it might actually prompt you and say that you need a newer version of .NET Core. If it asks you this, just click yes to download it and it'll bring you to this page. Once you're here, download it for the operating system you have. Most of you guys, 99% of you guys will have a 64 bit Windows. So click the download X64. If you're running a 32 bit Windows, you can run, download this one, but it will tell you if you download the wrong one. But take the 64 bit, it's probably the one you need. Um, Download and install, install that if it asks for it. As soon as you've installed it, you'll be able to go past clicking next here. I think I think the pop up actually comes right as you click next here. It'll say, yo, you don't have the newest version of .NET Core. Please download it. So yeah, make sure you do that. As you reach this point, it's going to say select the Riots folder. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to locate our Riots folder. For most of you guys, unless you've chosen a dedicated place to put it, it's going to be on your main drive, probably called the C drive. And it might be either in the root here or inside program files or or program files x, x86. But yeah, click on the Riot Games folder. Don't open it up. Just click on it like this and say select folder. Then we go next because we've now selected the Riot Games folder. For the next one, it asks us where are our replays located? So in case you have changed the path of your low, your replays, then you need to put that one in. But otherwise, you just go browse. You go to your documents. So in here, you will find your League of Legends folder. As you open that one up, we have one called replays. So we just mark that, that one. We don't open it up. But in here, you will find all of your replays. But just mark that one, select folder, click next. And now it's a setup complete. And this is where the cool thing comes into play. And this is what makes it so much better. Now it actually opens up this small little program where we can see the stats of each games, the runes and stats, and we can just click the play button right here. And it will say, yep, you can just say play, play this. And it, when you click yes, it's going to open up the game for you. And uh, yeah, now we'll be able to watch the replay. So this is like so much smarter than the old approach. And it doesn't force you to drag and drop things and you know what's in each one so yeah i think this is pretty cool i really do hope you guys enjoyed this new approach and found it helpful if you did make sure to smash the like button don't forget to subscribe and uh yeah if you want to watch me live go to twitch.tv dash meets underscore live but that's going to be it for this one as always stay awesome have fun and take it easy guys